Hello everybody. We're back with the second half of our Thread Up vs. Thrift Store challenge. Um, so let's get right into it. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Charles and I run a closet on Poshmark with my wife Angelique. Um, together it's we're the Deegans. Our closet's called the Deegans. This channel is called the Deegans, but that may be changing soon. Um, we kind of want to go a new direction with the new year, so um, might change the channel with something a bit more representative. Now, if you weren't here last time, um, we got a thread up box. It had 16 pairs of jeans in it, and then we went out to the thrift stores, um, Goodwill, during the dollar days, and we got 20 pairs, or 16 pairs of jeans. Um, most of them were a dollar, not all of them were, um, but I have the notes right here. Um, it doesn't actually say which ones were a dollar, so I don't know. Um, I'm not going to be able to tell you, because I've already shot them, so the tags have been cut off. All right, but if we get right into it, up first we have a pair of Old Navy Divas. Uh, these are a size two. Um, now normally we would not pick up Old Navy pants, but I think these looked um, pretty good. And uh, we wanted to try to get stuff that's comparable for the for the thread up uh, box. Now these Old Navy ones should go anywhere from twenty to ten dollars. Um, so eh, they're not a bad find. Okay. Up next, we have a pair of Not Your Daughter's Jeans. Uh, they are 10P, so that's probably 10 Petite. Um, they are style straight, and they're a pair of black jeans with a little bit of detail. Um, some, I guess, some stones, uh, little gems on the back pockets. Uh, Not Your Daughter's Jeans have been doing pretty pretty good for us, so I'm definitely excited about that. This is definitely a plus for the thrifting. Now, not your daughter's jeans. Um, they should go anywhere between $25 and $18. Okay, up next we have a pair of Joe's jeans. Um, see the logo on the butt? Um, and these are a size 23 um, ankle cigarette fit. Um, not sure what that means. Um, and Joe's Jeans is another good brand. Um, it's a brand that we've gotten a few times and it sells really well for us. So um, definitely another plus for the thrifting. Now, the Joe's Jeans. Joe's Jeans, let's see. I... Hmm. Oh, there they are. They should go between $35 and $25, so that is, um, that is really, really good. Okay, up next, we have a pair of BDG. Um, these are Twig High Rise, size 27, and they're a little darker. Um, the orange-brown threading, um, pair of jeans. They do have some detail on the back pocket with the red threading and of course the brand on the butt. Well, on the waist. Um, I do typically, I, I like when jeans put the brands on the waist because if they want you to see the brand, it's a good brand. And according to my list, they are a good brand. Going anywhere from 40 to $25. That um, that's almost the highest pair on this list. <laughs> Teaser. <laughs> okay, up next we have a pair of Lucky Brand, uh, 12 to 12 or 31, uh, probably two different sizes, um, depending on what the convention is. And they're another pair of jeans. <laughs> uh, they do have uh, some detailing on the back pockets and the brand. Um, Oh, the style. They are sweet and low. 
Oh. Lucky Brand. Um, we've had some luck <laughs> with the uh, with their boots, but I don't think we've gotten very many of their jeans or their shirts. Um, Lucky Brand. Um, those are Lucky... Yeah, those are the Lucky size 25. And we will... They should go anywhere between $25 and $15. Okay. Moving right along. We have a pair of Theory. Um, these are size 8. Um, can I see the style? I don't see a style on here. I do see that they are indeed 100% cotton. And they're technically a jean. Um, I think we... That is still close enough to denim. Um, actually, it is, it is denim. Um, they're just not styled like traditional jeans, but that's fine. Still counts for the challenge and theory. Let's see. Um, hmm. I do not see theory on the list. Um, being the case, um, unless it's no. Well, I do not have notes on that one, so um, I'm not entirely sure how much that'll go for. Um, up next, we have a another pair of Lucky Brands. Um, pretty much the same as the other Lucky Brands. Uh, they are a Sophia Boot style. Um, they are 76% cotton, 23% polyester, and 1% elastic. Made in China. Um, and, again, they do have some fraying on the bottom, but I, I don't believe that's intentional. Um, so let's see, the Lucky 20, yep, um, same as the other Luckies, uh, 25 to 15 dollars. Um, all right, now, up next we have another pair of Not Your Daughter's Jeans, but these are white, they're messing with my brightness. Um, they are an ankle style. Uh, that doesn't look like it will show, uh, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm going to describe these jeans. They are white. That is all. And now I'll get them off camera so everything brightens up again. <laughs> the auto technology, isn't it wonderful? Okay, the Not Your Daughter's Jeans, specifically the white ones, um, should go from anywhere between 28 to 20 dollars. Now I probably should have listed these the other way, uh, but that's okay. Um, and up next we have a pair of over overalls, a pair of bibs, whatever you call them. Um, they are in fact new with tags and the brand is Universal Threads. Um, they are a size 24R, um, and let's see if I can find what they're made out of. Uh, looks like they are 99% cotton and 1% spandex. And so, oh, that's the body. Um, other parts are 65% recycled polyester and 35% cotton. Uh, that's the pocket lining. Uh, machine wash only. <laughs> but these these are really these are really cute they have um three buttons on the side um and they'll they'll definitely do well and they still count as jeans for the challenge um, i decide what counts and what doesn't count for the challenge and i say everything we've gotten so far counts Alright, 
Um, up next, we have a pair of cloth and stone. Um, they are medium. And they're a pair. Oh, the looks like the tag might have fallen off. But they're a pair of jeans with an elastic waist, no pockets. Um, but we just had another piece of cloth and stone. Um, I can't remember if someone just wanted the measurements or if they, I believe they ended up purchasing it. So cloth and stone, um, I think we've only had one other thing of cloth and stone and it did sell. So that brand is something we can sell. And it looks like we can sell it for between 40 and $25. So another good find. Um, up next, we have a pair of Catherine Boyfriend, uh, Boyfriend being the style. Um, they are a size 6. They are 99% cotton, 1% spandex machine wash, and they are, um, oh wait, it's not Cat Catherine Boyfriend is the style. These are cut from the cloth. There we go. That, um, that I... I, rem I remember seeing that when I looked at my notes last. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. It's going to be 35 to $20. Um, so, up next, we have a pair of Lucky Brand, but this Lucky Brand is special because this Lucky Brand is size 14 regular. And it's new with tags. So, new with tags, Lucky Brand. Um, Style is Harper, Harper's Kid. Um, oh, Harper Kick Flare. Okay. The, <coughs> oh, excuse me. The new of tag is over the style, so I couldn't read that. Um, but these, they have some, some distressing on the front, but that, um, that's intentional because I don't believe these have ever been worn. Um, anyway, those should do really well for us. Um, Lucky Brand is one of those brands that just seems to be doing really well. Um, not that we really find a whole lot of it, but three pairs of it in this one, or four pairs in this one haul. Three or four. That was three. Three pairs in this one haul. Um, so, Lucky Brand, new with tags, um, 35 to $20. So, again, we're... We're already looking to do much better with thrifting than with thread up, but we did have to spend some time in the thrift store. Um, so, up next we have a pair of Sanctuary. Uh, these are size 30. Uh, the style is Peace. Um, so, let's, let's see if I can find their materials. Here it is. These are 100% cotton. They do have the two buttons in the um, fly and they also have buttons on the back pockets um, you see there uh, they're definitely a more unique style of jeans um, but they look nice so the sanctuary they should go from 40 to 20 dollars um, yeah, um, all right, moving right along, we have another pair of Not Your Daughter's Jeans. These are a size 6P. Uh, they are a Maryland Straight. Um, let's see. These are... Um, these are very... Well, they're made in Mexico, but I don't see the fabrics on here anywhere. So I assume they're mostly cotton, uh, probably some polyester in there. Um, but they're a nice deep blue pair of jeans. So. We are coming to the end. Um, so. This is actually the last pair of jeans in the bag, and they are a Jaden. 
Jaden, um, a Delis, Dele. I'm hungry. Um, they these are ninety eight percent cotton, two percent spandex. They are made in China, and they are a pair of jeans with some distressing, um, a lot of distressing hole in the knee. Um, but again, intentional hole in the knee. Um, they have a rather unique style on the back pocket. Um, but other than that, a typical pair of jeans. Now, the Jadens, they go, f they should go for Hmm. Um, they're also not on this list. So the yeah, we must have missed those on the list. That's okay. But we have one more pair of jeans to go over. Now this is definitely the cream of the crop. And showing us this these new jeans is our brand new set of mannequin lane legs. Now, these are a pair of fame frame. Why would I say fame? Um, they are a size 25. As you see, they are new with tags and Um, let me just scoot my camera back here so you get a little shot of my microphone there, but a little bit better view of these pants. Now, these are a really nice pair of jeans, and they sell, they comp for quite a lot. I had mentioned that it's more than 40. It's 90 dollars on the high end 55 on the low end um i think with it being new with tags we will get something on the high end um so i am really excited about that the this one pair of jeans um which i think i think this one we did end up paying more than a dollar for um anyway um the totals, um, the totals, we paid around $59 for all of these jeans. Now, like I said, most of them were a dollar, but uh, the few pairs that weren't a dollar, obviously bring that, um, bring that total significantly up. Um, on the high end, we should make around $373. Uh, low end will be $178. Um, after shooting and listing, which, um, oh boy, let's see. Hmm. No, that's, that time's way off. Um, I know it took me about, and it took me about three hours to shoot all the jeans from the last haul and this haul. Um, some of that was due to technical difficulties, so about an hour and a half on my end. And then my wife listing, um, a couple more hours, so we'll say around 10 hours of total work. So that puts us at around $37 per hour on the high end once all this sells, $17 per hour on the low end um, if all this sells. I believe all of these jeans have already been listed, so if you want to check them out, the link to our closet is in the description. Um, I I think we did a lot better with the thrifting than the thread up box, but we did have to spend that extra around two, three hours in the thrift stores. Uh, we did go to two different Goodwills and one um, other, uh, I think it was a Volunteers of America. Um, so we did do a lot of thrifting, a lot of looking around just to get that many, um, jeans, but we also got other stuff from those stores. So I'm not sure how it all balances out. 
um, I think the final metric of which method is actually going to win this round is which method can make the money back the soonest. Um, currently, one pair has sold from this haul and the last haul, and that was from the thread up box. I believe it sold for $16. Um, so after after fees and shipping and everything, um, probably around 10. Um, so the thread up box does currently have a little bit of a lead, but the thread up box also has a head start because it got listed first. All right. Um, with that, if you liked this video, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment below. Um, until next time, I'm Charles, and I'll see you later. And welcome back. Uh -huh. So, what is she doing here? This is, she's not in this video, but go ahead and click on her and that'll take you to uh, another video or a whole playlist full of videos. All right.